Hi doctors. About a month ago, I started noticing my legs going numb while sleeping. It started just above my right knee, and now it's in both legs and I feel it pretty much all the time. The feeling ranges from a slight tingly feeling to a dull aching pain and sometimes a total dead weight wooden feeling. Is this a circulatory or a muscular issue or something more severe? Help me understand why this is happening to me. Dead limb or sleeping limb, as it's often called, is very common. It's usually not a sign of something serious, just a result of a sleep position compressing a nerve. But I wanted to show Amanda why and how this can happen, so I invited Dr. Peter Grant to help us out and run what is called an EMG test. Thank you, Dr. Grant, for being here. Amanda, welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. So we got Amanda all hooked up, and, yeah. and we're going to do this quote-unquote EMG test to test your, your conduction. So tell us about this. Yeah, the EMG is a test of muscle and nerve function. Basically, it sort of puts her muscles on TV. And by looking at the screen, I'm able to identify whether there's any problem with the muscle or nerve. Okay. So I'm actually going to do a little bit now. Feel a little pin stick there. I just go right under the skin into the muscle. And Good as I turn I'm this on, needles. <laughs> that doesn't hurt, right? No, it doesn't hurt. Okay. And I'm able to look and see that when it's at rest, we have a flat line screen there. And that's what I would expect. Now, when I have her bring the foot up just slightly, bring the foot up, there we go, you can start to see those waveforms that are clicking and popping in there. And as I look at those, I'm looking at their size and their shape to see if they look normal. Okay. And do hers look normal? Well, they look pretty normal there, but what's interesting, Travis, is that I had the chance to talk with Amanda before and examine her a little backstage, uh, and we did find exactly what her problem is. And I'll show you that on the second part. Now, you'd mentioned before nerve conduction studies. There's two parts to the exam. The first is the pin stick or the EMG, and the okay. second is what's called nerve conduction studies, where I actually stimulate a nerve at one point and sort of pick up the impulse downstream and get to see how fast and how efficiently the nerve conducts. And I'm going to real quickly go back over to one of the um, screens where I saved Amanda's information that I did earlier today. And it's pretty awesome because it shows exactly what her problem is. I stimulated first at the ankle and then below the area where she has the problem and then above the area where she has the problem. And um, as I'm looking at the waveform, the first waveform is, is at the ankle. And it looks fine. It looks normal. The second one below the knee looks very much like it, and it's normal as well. And it isn't until I get across the area where the problem lies that we see the waveform is much smaller. It drops from 44 below to 33 above. It should be faster. an higher. obvious drop exactly. that shouldn't be there. So the problem that you have, Amanda, is a nerve called the perineal nerve that comes around the side of the knee. It actually goes right in front of a bone, uh, the fibula, which is this long bone on the side of your leg. And it, is co it can get compressed there when it gets pushed up against that bone. And it will cause symptoms just like what you've had with numbness and deadness down the leg and into the top of the foot. And that same nerve goes to the muscles that lift the foot up. So you get weakness sometimes in the ability to lift the foot up. And so that's where I felt the numbness radiating from was right around my knees. It's pinched. Yep. And that, that basically affects conduction, it causes pain. And what's unique about your story is you were having this during the day right. and at night. Oh, yeah. right. Usually, if you're sleeping a certain way and you're laying on that nerve, right. as soon as you wake up and you can shake it out, mm -hmm. then it's usually not as much of a problem. But exactly. you weren't able to do that. Mine would not shake out, no. Well, mm -hmm. and, and that's why it's important if you're at home and you're having similar symptoms to Amanda and they're coming on day and night over an extended period of time, you have to go see someone like Dr. Grant who does electrodiagnostics as your specialty. And thank you for sharing this with us and good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Like I said, nerve conduction problems can be a sign of more serious thing, diabetes, neuropathy, circulatory problems. So get it checked out if you're having problems with it.